So why use Mesa plus delivery? This is a, a question we get. And we've gotten this question in recent, recently. In fact, in the last week, we talked about delivery with some, with some dealers and they really been, did not understand why, why the importance of Mesa Plus, how we have an advantage and how to use that advantage against your competitors. So we're going to talk about that today, along with some numbers regarding uh, why delivery is so important to a restaurant. Well, let's start off with that. In, in 2016, not that many years ago, restaurant sales for delivery were about 7%. 7% of their sales were delivery. Post-COVID, in 2023, that number jumped to 25%. Part of that was that people did get used to delivery and not eating inside the restaurant during that COVID period, but it has still continued to increase to the point where restaurants who are doing delivery have found that that is 20, 25% of their sales or more. And I say, oh, more or more because when we check the box for Mesa Plus to add that to a site, we see a 30% jump in sales. That is across the board. So we have had customers who were not using Mesa Plus, turned it on, and they saw a, a minimum of 30% jump in sales. That's huge. That is a huge jump. But it's not just because Mesa is a delivery platform. It has other features in it, too, that allow for gift card loyalty, QR ordering, QR payment. So there is a there are a plethora of reasons why Mesa Plus will absolutely help a restaurant with their sales. So let's talk about some benefits of delivery. It, it does increase the check size. It does make the average check go up. In fact, it's, it's found that 20% increases have been found to be in the delivery orders. They order more food. So gets to a wider range of customers. That is, that is the customers beyond the ones who like to sit down and eat in a restaurant. There are some that just want to eat at home, but they want to have that food from that restaurant to eat at home. And that's where the delivery comes into play. They will order specifically so they can have that food that they want, but have it at home where they can kick back and do what they wish there at the house. There's less overhead when you get to adding a delivery, ever adding delivery to the restaurant because you're taking advantage of the existing equipment. The stuff, the, 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 everything's already there. They're just cooking more food on the existing equipment. So it does have a uh, reduction in the amount of overhead that it takes to do that delivery order. Get some exposure to new customers. Now this could be through the, the third party apps or it could be through the website. It could be through the app. So you're going to reach customers outside of those who normally visit the restaurant. You're going to get a, a category of customer who probably won't sit down and eat in the restaurant, but will absolutely have that food to go or deliver. Third party deliveries are really a huge portion of this. So while we're talking about Mesa, we also have to take into account the third party delivery companies that come in and put the food up on their app, sell the delivery services that they have, that then charge the restaurant a fee. So in-house delivery, in that case, is far more profitable for the restaurant to do than pay up to 30% of, of cost to have that food delivered by that third-party company. So those third-party companies are, can be quite expensive. In-house delivery allows the restaurant to be more profitable with their delivery side of the business. Adelo will help recover some of the cost of that third-party delivery and that we can increase the cost of the food, the price of the food, by a percentage based upon what the delivery company is charging. So it does help recover some of those costs that the, the third party delivery companies do charge. So benefits also include 
bringing attention to the restaurant website through the fact that you can have a Mesa uh, shopping cart on the website. So this shopping cart is, a, is an actual URL that you attach to the website as the option for the customer to order online versus having to order on the app. So th this is integrated with, and it does come with, it makes a plus application. This, by adding the restaurant app to the customer's phone, whether it's iOS or Android, that then allows that, cust that, that customer to see that app every time they open the phone. So that app then is in their face reminding them to purchase from that restaurant. So this app is like a continuous advertisement on those phones and those, on those applications there. It's, a, it's called a repetitive visual presence. And it is a, an extremely easy app to use. And we'll show you that here in a few minutes. There are some negatives. The, 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 the restaurant loses control of the quality and of the visual presentation once that order leaves the restaurant. So the food can get slopped around, slashed around, and when it gets to the to the customer, it's not going to be as presentable as it was when it left the restaurant. So there are some things that are out of the control of the restaurant with regard to presentation and food quality. There, you have to hire additional additional employees if you're going to deliver. You're going to have to have some drivers. So those do have a a some negatives there. As long with, along with the risk of the delivery drivers getting into accidents or having an accident, something to that effect, there could be additional insurance involved in the cost of doing delivery business. And then there's the, uh, the fact that you can't upsell as much on a delivery order as you could an in-house order with the server upselling for desserts, additional drinks, and those things. So those, those are some of the negatives of delivery. How about questions and things to look for when talking to a restaurant? You want to look at their website for a shopping cart to see what they're currently using. Do they currently have an in-house delivery? They may not have this at all. There are some restaurants that just haven't settled on a delivery system or have not decided to do it yet. And if you run across one of those, that's a prime candidate for what we're talking about. So if they don't have an in, current in-house delivery, then you need to take the opportunity to educate them on what that could mean to them with additional sales. Who do they use to manage their delivery? Is it an employee in-house or are the drivers self-dispatched? There are different ways you can manage a delivery system. How do they currently do that? How many orders do they do per day? This could uh, could play into how much the cost is because some delivery systems, online ordering systems, charge you by the order to use their system. And that leads into what is the percentage of business in the delivery, the delivery business in the restaurant, how much do they do? And then what is the monthly cost for the software? You could easily find where a delivery system is going to cost them 100 150 200 a month because of the software charges the per order charges those things that they are being charged for look for how much the monthly cost is for that software and really 100 percent of that goes away with regard to the mesa online ordering do they use a delivery system third party if so, how much is that going to cost? Because there is a cost to that. And how do they recover those costs? This is where they're going to look at you kind of funny. Is how, how in the world can they recover the cost? We have a way to help with that. The uh, Abdello solution is browser, iOS, and Android-based. It's easily found in the Android and Play Store, in the Play Store and the App Store for Apple. Or if they just scan it, it can be a browser-based application. It works on any browser. It is directly linked to the Adelo Express POS front-end system. And that means that once you make a change 
on the system, it is instantly changed to the app. So this is customizable with the restaurant logo, images, and contact information. And that's key. That's really, really, really important. It's not meant, Mesa is not meant to be out of the box pretty. It's going to have to be uh, some images added to it, colors added to it, the logo, the contact information. All these things have to be added in order for the app to look complete. So don't just go in and just turn it on and expect it to be 100%. There are a few things that you have to do to customize it, to make it look professional. Now, we are going to show you here very shortly in this, in this training how to do that, how to make that happen. It's not hard, but it's something you have to do in order to truly optimize the solution. It's more than just a food ordering app. Mesa Plus also has the multiple store gift card. And we keep harping on the multiple store because this is able to be used across multiple locations of this restaurant. That is usually something that's charged extra for by other systems. This gift card can be plastic cards. They can be digital cards. They can be both, both of those. They can also be an existing card uh, base. That is, if the customer's currently using gift cards, we can import those card numbers and balances and convert them into a Mesa platform. It also has a multiple store loyalty program. And we've shown in previous training where loyalty is a huge, huge uh, benefit to creating and increasing sales. So those two platforms right there are charged extra for in other systems of what are included with Mesa. There's QR menus for People who like to change menus a lot, they can have a QR code on the, on the table and bring up the most current menu in the Mesa app. There's QR ordering, which we've talked about, that this ordering can be for delivery, can be for pickup, can be for curbside. Any of those uh, ordering type platforms or destinations can be used in, in the Mesa app. There's also QR payments, something that is charged for by other systems we have a standard in that you can have the QR code printed on the receipt. It can be then scanned by the user in their, in their phone, bring up the app, and make the payment there. This is the most secure method of payment in that there's very few chargebacks. It's hard to, charge, to declare a chargeback from somebody who had to use their own phone to make the payment. So this does reduce the number of chargebacks that you get at the restaurant. We already talked about it, but there's a website shopping cart. It's a URL that's produced by the system that you just add to the existing website that then it becomes the shopping cart or online ordering platform for their website. There's multiple price levels for this. I hinted at it and talked about it, but you can have a price level for the third party apps. You can have a price level for to go orders uh, and you can, or delivery orders. And then there's a price level for the pickup. So there's different price levels in the system that are automated and just part of the program. So you, in some states, you now cannot charge a delivery fee, but you can charge a higher price for delivery orders. And that's what we're talking about. There's also custom coupons that are only available for online orders. These are programmable in the back office, and we'll show you how to do that here shortly. And then because it is integrated directly to the database, that then the updates are instant. So you make a price change in the system, it's going to be immediately updated to the delivery price, the pickup price, the curbside price, the uh, third-party ordering price, as well as the front of house point of sale. All those things are instant because it's updated, it's connected to the database. So easy to set up. Let's pause for a moment. I'm going to switch over to a, a training video that we have on how to set all this up for delivery. All right, so we are in the Express office. This is where we're going to manage our store for Happy's Build Demo. 
and we're going to be focusing mainly on the delivery aspect here. Okay, so to enable the Mesa online ordering, we first have to go into the app market. I'm going to click on that. We've already connected to the application. So it's going to show under my apps just to show you what the app will look like. You'll see Mesa online order. When you see it in the app market, all you have to do is click on connect. And once it's connected, you will see this Mesa online option on the left. So we're going to go ahead and click on Mesa online here. It's going to open up a new tab. And we're going to go into the store info. This is where you manage Mesa Online store. Um, so you'll see the store there. You're going to see that it is not online. There is a setting called Publish for Mesa Plus Nearby Store Search. And if that is enabled, this will show as published. So this is if the user wants their store to be advertised under the near, nearby store search. So on the application, that will show you on the store landing page how that reflects there. And once that's to no, You'll see here that it says not online if they don't want to publish their store. I'm going to go ahead and click on the store here. Okay, so you'll see four different tabs on the top. Overview, operations, scheme, and coupons. The majority of the information under the overview is the information that reflects on the individual store's storefront. Hiding these do not actually turn off the service. It just does not show up on the storefront. This here is the published for Mesa Plus nearby store search. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my mobile device. Okay, so you will see here, this is the store landing page, which will pull up stores in the area. It is not currently published. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on on the back end and save. And I will go ahead and refresh the store search here. So now the Happy's Grill Demo Store does show up. I will go ahead and turn that off on the back end. Refresh, and you'll see that it cleared. Now I'll go ahead and move back to the cloud here. Okay, so that is off. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the top of the page here. Okay, so if the store is not published, the only way to access the, the Mesa store is via QR code or the store direct URL. You will see that information here. So you can generate a store QR and download that image. You can have it printed onto a sticker or on cardstock or a table tree. Or you can provide this store direct URL and the customers can access the store that way. Okay, so we're going to move next to the operations tab. You will see the available payment types for this store and you can dis enable or disable. You will see that the print server mode is enabled. In order to define a print server device, you can do that through the Express Office by going into the settings, store config, receipt and ticket config, under the kitchen and bar ticket, and print options. So you want to define your print server here. So device number one will be our print server. And you also want to enable the auto print non paid ISV orders to kitchen. Because these orders are being initiated outside of the Abello Express application, the print server device is responsible for printing out these external orders to the kitchen there. All right, so we'll move back to the store console with Mesa Online. Now they can turn off the online orders temporarily, and then they can allow pre order during off hours. We'll go and scroll down here, and we're going to go directly to the delivery. As we mentioned, the focus will be on delivery here. Disabling delivery here will remove the option as an order type. So we want to leave that on. And you can define a minimum order total to complete the purchase. And you can also set a markup percentage here in rounding. So we're going to go ahead and actually set this to 5% and set the round to next 5 cent there. So what this will do is if the, the delivery order type is selected, there will be a markup on the order. And I'll show you that once we get into the demonstration on the application. There's also the delivery service hours override here. So you'll see the store hours, if they, if they only want the service available for a certain time block, um, they can define those hours here for each day. Then you can see the delivery area limitations. You'll see that this is grayed out. We'd have to make these changes from the express office as well. So we'll go back there and go into these settings, 
and delivery limitations. So you'll see it's set to 20. I'll go ahead and change this to 15 and we'll set it to miles. We'll go ahead and save this and we'll move over and refresh that page there and move back over to the operations tab. And now you'll see that it is updated to 15 miles. Then we'll scroll down to the production minutes. This can be a daily adjustment. As you can see every day, they can set up different values. Otherwise, it will use the default production minutes there. Below that, you can define the gratuity percentages that will be available. And this will be the delivery fees when ordered through Mesa. And we'll go ahead and hit save there. And then you'll see the, the theme tab and the coupons. The theme tab basically is used to add company logos and pictures, as well as manage gallery photos. And the coupon tab is used to advertise existing discounts. Discounts can target different services. I'll go ahead and get into the coupons here and we'll focus on the 10% off promo. And you'll see that it is targeted to delivery only. And I'll show you how that applies once we get to the application. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and access that now. We're gonna go ahead and pull up Happy's Grill here. So I'm gonna, on the upper left, I'm gonna tap on the scan option. I'm gonna scan that QR code there and it'll bring up the store. All right. What I'm going to do next is go into the order online. We're actually going to start off the order as a pickup instead of delivery. And I'll show you why in just a second here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on appetizers. I'll put a couple items in. And we'll go ahead and view cart. So the reason why I wanted to choose pickup first is because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and change the service to delivery. But before I do that, I want to tap on add coupon. You'll see the two coupons available there. I'm going to go, ahead and go back. I'm going to tap on the pickup and actually change it to, to delivery. Um, so one thing you're going to take note of is the actual prices for the items. So I have T10 and $19.99. Once I change it to delivery, the prices will update there. So went from 210 to 225 and 1999 to 2105. And it rounded to the next five cent. Now when I go back to add coupon, you will see that 10% off promo. I'll go ahead and apply that. And you'll see the plate there for 233. You'll see the delivery charge on the total. I'll go ahead and hit continue there. I'll go ahead and leave as is and hit continue. Now you have your different payment options. I'll go ahead and choose gift here. And because I do have the payment security turned on, I do have to put in my code. I'll go ahead and enter the gratuity there. So if you recall, the gratuities we had set up in the back office for 15, 20, 25. I'll continue. Now I get to choose from my, from my different gift cards here. So we do have to have enough to cover the balance there. I'm going to use this card and push that through. I do have to confirm the order from the print server device. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my iPad next. All right, so if I go ahead and tap on the hamburger icon on the upper left, tap on alerts, you will see the web order there. I do have to confirm it. I'll go ahead and recall it. There, so we do have to push this through the, the driver dispatch. I'm going to go ahead and access that now. I'm going to go ahead and accept the order and assign it to a driver and dispatch it. So now it's already been departed as I already performed the dispatch there. And if I go back to the application, you will, you will see that the status is set now to delivering. And then when I close out the order by arriving it and performing a money drop, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my mobile device here. And you'll see the status of the order there. 
it's in green, you'll see the details of the order, and I can order it again if needed. If I go back to orders, it doesn't show under the, in progress, it shows up under the history there. All right, I'll go ahead and hand it back over to you, Jerry. All right, very, very good. All right, some things I wanted you guys to notice on that were how the images really enhance the app. You do need images on the items. You do need images for the store. And there are multiple images you can use. So you can have a, a different looks of the restaurant. You can show the different uh, different sections, different rooms, different things about that restaurant. Enhance the app using the pictures. You also saw how Rodney was able to change the price based upon the destination, whether it's a pickup or a delivery. Those are things that other systems struggle with if they can do it at all. So you do need to take advantage of that and show how our system is a better solution for that restaurant. And why does it matter? Well, it matters because the delivery is now such a huge portion of restaurant sales, 25% or more. And we've already shown now how Mesa Plus gets them in up to 30% or more. We've seen that in our own data. We know that to be a fact. This should be an automatic add-on. It should be something that you go in and when you're proposing the system, you're proposing a point of sale system that includes online ordering. You're proposing a system that includes loyalty and gift. You're proposing a system that includes Mesa Plus. It should be an automatic add-on that they use day one. So why does it matter? It forces your competition to add on their expensive delivery, gift, and loyalty options. You are forcing them out of their comfort zone. We do that really, really well with a lot of our applications, but specifically and particularly with Mesa Plus. You will absolutely force them into doing things that they don't want to do because their gift, their loyalty, their QR ordering, and their delivery options are all individually priced. You're going to, you're going to skyrocket their uh, cost of their application. This then helps you keep them from poaching your customers. They're going to, the, your competition is going to have a very hard time going in and beating your uh, product. You're going to have a hard time doing it with a less expensive system and they're going to have a hard time with their cost of their credit card. So it's going to take a lot to get them to pull an Adelo POS system out, particularly one that has the Mesa Online and Mesa Plus application involved. Get it going from day one. This should be an, an easy, easy sale and an easy, easy add-on. So what questions do you have? Brad, I have your mic turned on. Go ahead. Okay, great. Thanks, Jerry. Um, great presentation. Um, I have a question on when somebody does place an online order and maybe the kitchen gets a little too over backed up, will these filter those by priority or organize them uh, the way that they come in so that it can, you know, it, it can say, hey, there's going to be a 35 minute wait on these orders or, um, you know, it's an hour or right now we're not going to be able to accept online orders. It doesn't do that automatically, but it does allow you to do that manually in the back office. You can do that. You can set up a, a time. Rodney, why don't you explain what you talked about there? Yeah, if you recall, um, under the under the, uh, the operations, there was a field to or a, a setting to turn off the um, online orders temporarily. So if, if, if they're getting an influx of orders, they definitely, if they feel they can't handle it, they can go back into the cloud and then it'll disable the order online option on the app. Okay, yes, yeah, so they would have to, okay. Basically yeah. manually go in and, and, and change that. Yeah. Now, can they set that also for a time? Like if I want to pick up my order at, you know, it's, uh, what time is it here? One thirty right now, if I want to pick it up at 3.30, can I, is there a way to set that on the app so that my food's ready at 
Yeah, I, I I didn't go into it in depth on the on the application, but you can change your 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 pickup time or or whatnot. There's there there's different options when you're pushing the order through. Um, if, especially if you have delivery, you can actually have like different addresses or add new addresses. You can change your pickup times. Um, you can even if if future orders are are enabled, um, you can set that up as well, or or customize that when completing the order. Awesome. That's awesome. That's perfect. Thanks a bunch, Rodney. Appreciate that. No problem. Yeah, that was on one of the order screens he had in the app that he went he went through that. He said, I'm just going to keep this as is. But that was the page where you could set it up for uh, delivery at a specific time or pickup at a specific time. So it's very, very powerful in that way. Anybody else want to raise their hand? Okay, I'm going to call this good then. You guys? Uh, sorry, Jerry, there's one more question. Uh, how to pay by credit card uh, in Mesa? Um, the answer there would be uh, that if you're not using Abilify, you need to talk to your processor. Yeah, you can do it with Tesis, but you have to set it up with Tesis. It is possible. We have people doing it now. So, yeah, it is possible. Yeah. So if the, if the online ordering um, account is set up in the back end, that payment option will be available. So um, they can disable it or enable it. Um, they'll be able to pay with the credit card. And also a thing to note as well, if they do have the credit cards turned on, they can sell gift um, through the application as well. Good question. Okay. Well, guys, we appreciate it. Uh, next week's class will be on the delivery aspect of this. So we did the online ordering this week. Next week, we're going to dive deeper into the delivery, how to set up the, the uh, driver management, how to manage drivers, how to balance drivers, and do total driver management. So that's next week's class. Look forward to seeing you then.